Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, as you can see, since I'm in my robe, we are going to be reviewing a facial self-tanner. Since I really liked the Isle of Paradise self-tanning water for the body, I really wanted to try this and see if this was just as good. Also, if you haven't seen that video yet, make sure you go watch it. I will link it somewhere in the video, so make sure you watch. Before we get into it, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It means the world to me if you do, but if you want to see me talk about slash try on the Isle of Paradise dark self-tanning drops, oh this is for face and body, interesting, then stay tuned for the rest of the video. So first, as usual, I'm just going to read some of the facts slash how to apply. Basically, on the front of the bottle, it's just this cute little white and purple bottle, and it says vegan-friendly, cruelty-free, and organic. I got the dark version, and this is 30 milliliters, or 1.01 fluid ounces, so basically the exact same size as, like, any serum that you would use for your face, so pretty good size if you're just using this for your face. If you're using this for your body, though, I don't know how long this is going to last. One ounce for your whole body does not seem like a lot, so we'll see. Um, it says, get set glow. Add 1 to 12 drops to your favorite moisturizer, mix together, and apply to skin. More drops equals deeper tan. Wash hands after application. Do's and don'ts. Must be mixed with a moisturizer. Oh, okay. So those are basically the only directions that are on here. Other than that, it just says like the ingredients. And then when I peeled it back, it was just the exact same thing in another language or a bunch of other languages. So I just looked it up on Sephora's website because that's where I bought it. I'll also link it in the description box if you guys are interested and buying it if it ends up being good. I do want to say thank you in advance because I am part of an affiliate program, so if you buy it from the link in my description, I get a small commission. So if you do buy from the link in the description, thank you so much in advance. I love you guys. But back to reading more about the product. It does go for $29, which doesn't seem bad if you're just using it on your face which is probably what I'm gonna do. I don't really see myself using this on my body, to be totally honest. That's just me. Comment down below if you have used this on your body and let me know if it actually works, because I am, I'm curious, I just, I don't know. I feel like this is kind of more of like a facial tanner thing. I did really, really like the um, water for body, so I would probably use both of these in conjunction. But this just seems too small to be using on your body. This is a bottle of custom-made self-tanning drops that allow you to control your glow. It is for uneven skin tone, dryness, dullness, and uneven texture. And then it says, married to your moisturizer but want that super tanned glow too? Simply add these color-correcting self-tanning drops to your moisturizer for a natural sun-kissed glow with no streaks, smells, or orange tones. Isle of Paradise has combined a color corrective approach with a tanning know how to bring your best glow ever. Whether that's for the beach or brunch, all, sorry guys, I don't know, I swear I know how to read. I don't know what it is. Every time I get on camera, I just can't read. All drops combine organic tanning actives with avocado, chia seed, and coconut oils for a happy hydrated glow. Basically, now we're gonna start applying. I am going to be using my moisturizer that I would typically use for my face, which is the Dermalogica Active Moist. This one is really, really good if you just want a moisturizer that's very hydrating but lightweight at the same time. I feel like this is like my holy grail moisturizer because it doesn't break me out, which tends to happen with a lot of moisturizers that I try, and it just it really soaks into my skin. I'm running low though, so if it makes a farting sound, it's the bottle, not me. So basically, I'm going to make sure I get a lot of product. Don't judge me if this is a lot of moisturizer for you. I really like to coat my face in it. 
so I do like to put a lot of product on there. So now I'm gonna take the drops and I'm gonna do, let's see. We'll do 11. This consistency is really watery now. So once you've done that, taking some on my finger and just applying it like I would any moisturizer. Definitely did too much, but we won't waste any, so it's okay. Don't forget your ears and your hairline, you guys. Just because this is a serum does not mean that you should be neglecting those spots. And I'm just gonna bring it down to my neck too. Even though I'm going to be applying a body self tanner to my neck as well, I have so much on my face that I have enough to put on my neck. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but I am kind of aggressive when I apply products to my face. I know I need to work on that, so I'm sorry, but yeah. I know, I do that. So it says to wash your hands right away, so I'm going to give my opinions on this really quick. But basically, as of right now, it feels a tiny bit sticky. Like it definitely made my moisturizer feel a little bit stickier. Like I don't know if you can see when I'm pulling my hands off my face, but it does feel a little bit sticky. And then it has zero smell, just like the body one, which I really, really like because this also has no smell and especially when something is on your face it gets a little bit more annoying when you're smelling it all night so it is really nice that this also smells like nothing i don't really have any other opinions on it as of right now that's pretty much all i could say for now so so far so good i do really like it and i feel like the stickiness as the minutes go by is becoming a little bit less, like it doesn't feel as sticky. So we will see tomorrow. So far, I'm not mad at it. <laughs> so stay tuned for tomorrow. Make sure you stay until the end of the video to see how my face turns out with the Isle of Paradise dark self tanning drops. I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. Welcome back guys, it's the next day. Don't judge me, I'm feeling a little not cute today. It's one of those days, I feel like I'm just off. I feel like it's one of those days where I just need foundation and obviously I'm not wearing any because I wanna show you guys what my face looks like without it. But I do feel a little bit off. That's okay though. Back to what we're actually here to talk about. Oh my God, you guys, I am so surprised at how good this is. Like I'm genuinely shocked. And I just have to start off by saying I'm so mad at myself for not trying this brand sooner because it is so, like at least the products that I've tried so far from this brand have not disappointed at all. Everything I've tried, which is two products, have been amazing. Like this, I think is my new favorite facial self tanner. I woke up this morning, I went into the bathroom to go like brush my teeth, wash my face, and my face just looked so good. Like the color looked so nice. There was like no orangey tone to it whatsoever. It was super, super even on my face. I don't know how well the camera is picking it up right now, but at least what I'm seeing on me is my face is really, not really, really tan. It, it's giving me like a really nice natural like sun-kissed glow. And my skin tone is super even. Like my hyperpigmentation is not as noticeable as it is when I just have my bare face. I'm really, really happy with how the color turned out. Like I said, no orangey tone, super, super even. And it was just like a beautiful color. I used the Isle of Paradise self tanner for my body again this week too. And I feel like both of these products together just made my skin look really, really naturally tan and beautiful. Like I really, really liked this combo. And I love the concept of having drops 
and blending them in with your moisturizer I feel like that really made the application that much nicer too like when I woke up in the morning I didn't feel like I had some nasty stuff on my face I just felt like I had my moisturizer on like regular it didn't feel super sticky in the morning nothing and it had no smell to it again which is unusual for a self tanner because typically they all do I at least did not notice any kind of smell with this and again my moisturizer itself doesn't have a smell to it either but as far as like a first impression I do really really like the color that came out I feel like it's such a natural looking tan which is so hard to find especially for the face I feel like because a lot of self tanners for some reason tend to give your face a little bit of like that fake tan hint to them and I feel like this was just really really natural looking I feel like this is definitely my favorite facial one that I've tried so far it does kind of beat the other two not saying I don't like the other two I really do like the other two but this one is just like really special it has something really different to it it's just I think it's like the ease of use and it's like the fact that you're just Mixing it in with your moisturizer. I have to mention again that the size is really nice one fluid ounce I feel like this is gonna last me a while and I feel like this is definitely going to be what I grab for a lot especially this winter Especially on days when you're not wearing makeup, but you still want to add like that little extra glow and Sunkissedness to your face. I feel like this is gonna be perfect for that like this is going to be my go-to I feel like unless I try a better one but I think that's pretty much all I got I think I covered everything that I wanted to say about it I absolutely love it new favorite self tanner if you haven't tried it please go try it I know they have two lighter colors so if you don't want something that's going to be the darkest that they have you can go for one of the lighter ones, but I absolutely love it. I don't think it's too dark. I feel like it's like the perfect sun-kissed tan. But yeah, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below. Let me know if you've tried this and what you think about it if you have tried it. But if you haven't tried it, comment anyways and let me know what you guys think of how it turned out on me. If you think it looks good. If you think it looks bad, keep it to yourself because this is not a negative channel. <laughs> and... Yeah, just comment. Let me know. Make sure to, as usual, give this video a thumbs up for me, please. Share this with your friends and please subscribe to my channel. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.